Hey, what's going on? This is Muriel from the Sunshine Family about schools in Costa Rica. Now, I've done videos about schools in Costa Rica uh, for expats, for expat kids before, but this video is different. So I'm inviting you to really watch until the end. If you want to hear why I pulled my kids out of the expat school here in my area where I live as an expat in Costa Rica since 2018, I have a little bit a hanging uh, part of my face because I just came home from the dentist but um, yeah I'm gonna throw in some personal experience as a work from home entrepreneur digital nomadic mom living in Costa Rica and I found out well what it is that I found out I'm gonna share that with you before I'm gonna dive right in you feel welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet you see a little icon a little picture on the screen if you tap it and you also hit the bell then you get notified every time i upload a new video and i do that more or less a couple of times per week i strive to daily but since i'm also an online coach and uh, I, uh, I have so many new students. Uh, I found out that I'm making a little bit less videos as usual because I want to help more people uh, in helping them to grow their online business. Uh, and that is my perfect way to live in Costa Rica with my online business. I do not just coach, I also am an affiliate marketer. Well, anyways, that's probably not why you're here, but it has also given me uh, the perspectives that I'm going to share with you and that is what my video is about. So I'm not going really deep into the details of that there's local schools and expat schools and etc etc but this is more um, value based and vision based um, you know seen from my perspective. So I hope that um, my I strive with this video let me just say out loud my intention with this video if you're looking into Costa Rica to live here and you're looking into schools in Costa Rica because you have a family, you have kids um, and you want to come here long term or you want to move here and you want to start a family, I think my video can benefit you to hear something that I haven't heard anyone making videos about, okay? And it's personal. Uh, with that, I want to activate your mind to see things from different perspectives. And uh, yeah, I just hope that you can benefit from it. So let me just dive in. Okay, what was the age of my kids when we moved here? We moved here in 2018 and my daughter was 14 and my son was almost eight. Okay, so I agree. It was a challenging age for my daughter and uh, a more easy age for my son. Although it's always challenging to move abroad, to move to Costa Rica with children, because it's not just up to your choices. You also have to consider the, the wants and needs for your kids and you're obligated as, there's so many mosquitoes here. Uh, you're obligated as parents to, you know, to serve them the right, the best education. Well, I think that we all agree here now, it was for us, uh, it was before the pandemic started, etc. very um, important that they would go to an expat school, um, a small scale expat school where they were speaking um, Spanish and English and where they can could also l be helped in settling in their new country. And that was a success. Uh, my daughter learned Spanish and my son learned English at school. And yeah, definitely an expat school um, where my kids went. They went to Fortua Verde in Covino. Yeah, and the first one and a half years they, they went to that school. Now, you must know what I do for a living and that's not what my video is about, but it characterizes my choices of pulling them out of the expat school and not having them go back there even when the school was already open again during the pandemic all the schools were closed not just in Costa Rica but they never got back to that school and I'm going to explain exactly why so I am an entrepreneur I don't have a job I don't have a brick and mortar business I can work from my laptop from anywhere really just a couple of hours per day it is nothing compared to the life I lived in the Netherlands working shifts outside of my house um, where my my uh, mother-in-law often picked up my kids from school where I picked up my kids 
after they had dinner at their grandparents' house because I had a late shift, for example. No, I work from home and my kids went to Fortuwer Verde. They were picked up by the school bus at 7 a.m. in the morning and they the school was ended at 3 and then they had to drive in the school bus at the beginning an hour back, an hour forth. They came home around 4, 4.30. That was the situation for a year. Besides the fact that they got to, got to know friends, got to know the culture of Costa Rica, got to know other kids, that was all cool. I found out that because I'm an entrepreneurial mind, I'm a free soul, I stepped out of the system of having a boss telling me what to do. Um, I stepped out of my reality that I was raised, born and raised in that you have to go to school to get an education, to find a job and to make it in this life until you are retired, okay? So this time where we're living in characterizes itself by a changing world. The digital, uh, the digital space has grown and has brought everyone a lot of opportunities. That's one of the reasons why we were in the first place able to move to Costa Rica, thanks to our laptop slash online business, right? So as digital nomads in Costa Rica, having a laptop business, we were observing the situation at this particular local um, expat school, but more or less, you can compare that, I think, with other schools as well. But uh, I'm looking forward to hearing your experiences below, of course, in the video, below the video. But that system that I am not part of anymore because I work for myself, I make my, a very good living online in a totally different business model. I found out that right after the pandemic when the schools opened again, overall, teachers are overall underpaid and have a very high stress level and are not all of them super passionate teachers. I have seen situations in this expat school, but I remember the same situations when I was a child and at school. I remember seeing the situations in the Dutch school. So this is not just criticizing the expat schools in Costa Rica. I'm just want to wake you up. If you want to be free as I am, I'm not sure if the school system, well, I am absolutely sure the school system is not serving our family my family and why it is still thriving on the old business model of go to school get your diplomas find a job and then you make it in this world and the whole education order in schools is based on that i just recently heard a story of a friend of my son that there were very sweet kids those are very sweet kids it was a new spanish teacher and they made a joke the teacher could not appreciate it it was a very innocent joke the teacher could not appreciate it and was stepping on his authority uh ordering the kids to all stay over after school so they would miss their clubs they would miss the school bus they would would be in trouble being caught in their pleasure and had to write down um, a couple of pages with words as a punishment, right? And it, was, it sounded like dictatorship, right? I think that's such a freaking waste of time. Uh, yes, I agree that kids need to learn discipline and uh, every person gets to get, how do you say that, needs to learn how to deal with some kind of authority because if you go to, to the bank to open up a bank account, you cannot just be rude to someone who's working slow. There is some kind of authority, respect that you have to teach your kids. But I have seen, looked around me in other countries too, that the overall most schools are so outdated in what they teach kids. There is no school that I know of in Costa Rica or elsewhere that's teaching about entrepreneurship. And I start to dive in this because it, it was bothering me. So first of all, my kids never went back. The school opened here because they um, discovered an online learning program and I'm not affiliated with that program whatsoever, but it just was it on the head. They just do school two hours per day. Um, 
it's a cert they provide certifications so basically if they graduate they can go to university if they wish which i believe is an obligation as a parent to serve to serve your kids with education that gives perspectives if kids want to go to university whatsoever um but it's just two hours of very focused learning and no other fuss now i hear you say yeah but i have very young kids they need their social context i fully agree so that's a challenge and there comes my online business around the corner i've seen parents struggling i see parents struggling who are entrepreneurs who work for themselves who are artists uh, shamans teachers yoga teachers they have their own businesses digital nomads in costa rica and they 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 introduce their kids to expat schools to integrate in the culture and get to know friends. But the system overall, the system, the school system is not serving their family wants and needs anymore because often families are thinking the opposite values of what the school is bringing the kids. And that was a um, conflict for us. Now, I'm glad that it solved itself because my kids already made friends in school and were thriving on their social network even the kids were not in the same class anymore and i do facilitate my youngest to go to clubs and where he can meet friends his friends and can make new friends but i'm just saying be sure that you want to choose a school in costa rica because if you are a free soul like i am and you do not feel fully aligned anymore with the old values of how to make money. I know that there's a lot, lot, a big group of entrepreneurs of digital nomads in Costa Rica who are young and who are starting with a family. Um, an online school where my kids go to, if you can work from home, of course, keeps the space open for you to be their first influence and not some kind of frustrated, underpaid, dictatorish young teacher is just suppressing all these young souls and i've seen it not happen once but happened a couple of times when my kids were in that school that they were suppressed it was i ha have been called by some teachers like you we have to talk because your daughter did something that was against the rules okay so that's where i went and i was very respectful and very polite but the punishments the the how do you say that the, um, the I, I cannot come up with the word they were not in balance with what my daughter did according to my values and that's where i started to think i don't want my kids to be in this type of school system anymore because i don't see any entrepreneur in a school teaching passionately because that's what they want to do and overall the teachers are underpaid on expat schools, in a lot of expat schools, they're underpaid, but they have to work many, many hours. What leaves that in passion for a teacher? And are you aware of the fact that that's what your kiddo is going to be exposed to every single day, a minimum of eight hours per day, right? And I'm not just even counting the time of where kids are in school buses. Now, I am very controversial and I've always been, and that created my freedom. I have a beautiful business build over the time of eight years. And meanwhile, I became a coach. I'm coaching people to build the same type of business that I've created. But I, now I, I, I just feel the freedom of choice that I have because I work from home so I can facilitate to help my kids when they need my help when they do their online school of course you need to be there i cannot just say to my 12 year old just have fun good luck with your online school work today uh, pff, i'm out no of course i'm here sometimes he, he needs my help and i'm there and that's so important for me and i see my son is thriving while before he was complaining about the long hours he had to wait during lunchtime because they they had a kitchen at school, so they were eating at school. And he always complained, it's so noisy, there's big lines. And, and he was a slow learner at the beginning, right? Because he was learning his two new languages. And that's how he was caught on doing the nice things because often in the breaks, the teachers told him, well, complete your work and then you can go play in your break and i was like something is not 
aligned with my values here. So when we switched during the pandemic, was which was for us a very good eye opener of all the benefits that we can enjoy, we could enjoy thanks to our laptop business because we just could work from within the the, um, the gates of our property with our fiber optic internet, but also because we could facilitate our kids supporting them with their online learning and the money just kept coming in and the attention for our kids um how, how do you say that well i just want you to consider what fits your situation of course i do know parents who are my friends they work from themselves but they it's impossible to work from home so that's why their kids go to school but they see at the same time what I just described, that the system is not serving their family values anymore. I want you to think for yourself, how hurtful is that for my kids? And I dare to say out loud, I think, I'm not saying every teacher is bad, I'm not saying every school is bad, not at all. I'm just sharing my thoughts, remember, to wake you up, to, to help you process this info when you are making decisions, and you can take my information with that. Um, how creative can a kid become and develop him or himself if there's very small-minded people teaching your kid and they're exposed for eight hours per day to very limited thinking? Oh, I was just starting to start, uh, share a story which I didn't complete. So I start to dive in this topic and then I, like what's happening in schools, where's the passion, right? It's all, I don't know with the underpaid teacher stuff, I started to become worried and the big classes in the Netherlands. Um, I think, well, I actually want to ask you, if a teacher is underpaid, right, and stressed, what influence do you think he or she will have on your child with his or her energy, right? I have seen from within very unreasonable conflicts between children and teachers and including myself and the school system that I did not agree on the way they handled things, but that was based on my entrepreneurial mind. So I don't like to ask permission to, how do you say that? Um, to take my kid for a school vacation and I understand you need to obey the school rules um, if your kid is in school. But that's just a practical thing. But also according to rules, uh, which jokes are acceptable, which jokes are not. Um, school, I found an article that was describing that a school is teaching kids to learn, but the school is not teaching a kid to make money. And that's where my entrepreneurial mind just stepped up, like, that's it, that's what I'm missing. All the things that I learned to make a great living with my internet business, I did not learn in school. I was edu highly educated as a social worker, but it kept me broken, poor, and very small-minded, because I thought that was the only way. So I learned how to learn in school, but I didn't learn how to make money in school. And if I, well, personally, I want my kids to be independent and free and to be able to stand strong in this e evolving times in the world where jobs are disappearing, where we have seen businesses and jobs collapsing during the pandemic, right? My kids saw us thriving with our business and my daughter is almost 18 now and she told me, mom, I finally realized how grateful I am that you were always home. Although I often thought when she was about 16, why are you always there? I want some privacy, right? That's the other end of the story of a teenager. But she also said, yeah. And now she's visiting friends in, um, in the United States. She said, I know a lot of kids who have everything and live in big houses and stuff, but they're raised without parents because the parents were always working outside of the house. So, my video is controversial. I am totally not supporting the school system anymore in schools, in big classes, in just when we're talking about underpaid and stressed teachers and 
I think the, a lot of the school education is not aligned anymore with what's happening in the world. It's behind and it always takes longer to adjust that in the schools. And I think that gap is too big right now. So I see it so clearly as an entrepreneur working from home online with my laptop. I am grateful that there is such a thing as online learning. And yes, you do have practical challenges with that because officially Costa Rica does not accept that for school, but it depends on the age. So if your kids are very young, yes, you do have a challenge, but I also have heard from other people, parents who, who are home um, schooling their kids that there are ways to work around that to show respect for the Costa Rica rules, but still be able to homeschool their kids, right? So there's always solutions for challenges by others called problems, but I love to call problems challenges. And I'm going to repeat myself. Yes, this is a controversial video, but I want you to wake up that if you're looking into Costa Rica living, um, Costa Rica for kids, you're looking into schools in Costa Rica, be sure that this is really where, where you want your kids to go to. But for nine of the 10 people, probably it is because you love the school system. But like I said, like 10 times now, I'm an entrepreneur. Um, I stepped out, I quit my job. I stepped out of the ruling system. I'm one of the 4% who made it online. Um, my coaching program is based on that, but um, I believe that that earning model is not perfect for everyone. Also online learning is not good for every kid. But this is my point of view that I'm happy my kids are thriving that way. And just consider that you have more options than local schools and international schools, if that makes sense. Now, I'm looking forward to reading your comments below and we're going to warn you all negative, very negative, hateful comments. I will delete. It doesn't really happen a lot, but I'm, you know, this is my channel and negativity attracts negativity, but I'm open for a healthy conversation about this because I think it's really important for the parents now that they think wisely in which decisions they're making in choosing a school in Costa Rica. It's not only about learning a language and getting to know the Costa Rica culture. It's also what is the school teaching your kids and is it really still the education that has priority right now. I do think that schools could better pay attention to how to survive when there's no water coming from the tap or when the electricity dies and how to find food and um, values, other type of values, entrepreneurship, quantum physics, law of attraction, uh, healthcare, how, you know, natural uh, healing, medicine found in nature. I there is parts that a lot of international schools, they are teaching this, but not enough. It's still based on the old school system, get a job, uh, get education, find a job, and then you're surviving in this society, which I do not support at all anymore for myself. So I'm very curious about the responses on this video. It's a long video and it's a, uh, yeah, it's a fired up one, but uh, I'm here to serve, you know that. And I make different type of videos than every, everyone else who's making videos about Costa Rica. And that's my mission. I want to really teach you something and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And um, thanks for subscribing, your thumbs up, sharing my video if you think it can benefit others. And with that being said, looking forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye for now.